Hey, if you're making use of Elementals Loop Grid, you will have noticed that we don't have really amazing filter systems. The WP Grid Builder or Grid Builder WP is a really good filter system, not just for your Loop Grid posts, but for your Loop Grid products as well. It is a premium plugin. There is no free version. It is $49 a year. Uh, per site and there is a link to go and have a look at this and it's not an affiliated link There's no referral things for me at all It's just because I've used this on several websites and I really like it mainly because of what it allowed me to do with the loop grid that we've got in Elemental Now once you've installed it, it gets really really simple and easy I'm gonna first cover off the posts and then I'm gonna move on to the products Obviously with your posts make sure you've gone and given them some categories when you've created your posts and you can have child categories as well. Once you've installed and activated, you go over to Grid Builder. It's on the left hand side in your dashboard as well. And you want to go to Facets. And I'm going to create one from scratch. So I'm going to click Create a Facet. And I'm going to give this a name. And once you've done that, it automatically creates a slug. And I'm just going to copy it over here to be on the Facet title as well. It kind of makes sense to keep it all synchronized. I'm going to save those changes. And then I'm going to go over to the behave. Now, you don't really need to mess around with anything down here. You can do if you want, if you are going to use the short code. But what we're going to be using is that we are building this with Elementor. And not only have I got Grid Builder on it, but I've also got the add on. So I should mention that. Once you've installed it and you've purchased it, there will be these add-ons that you can download for free once you've purchased, okay? And the one you want is the Elemental add-on there. They do have it for other page builders and uh, uh, plugins as well for integration, but just go and download that once you've purchased it. That is for free. And what that will do is it puts a widget within your widget interface toolbox whereby you don't need to use the toolbox. No, the short code. You don't need to use the short code. Let's go on to behavior. We're going to have a filter. I'm going to leave it as that. And I'm going to leave it as a checkbox. You have lots of different items there for you. So go with whichever one works best for you. I'm going to leave my taxonomy as the category. And if you were to open it, you will see that you do have a range of options here. Now, you will notice here that we've got product color, product brand. I'm going to come back onto those in a moment, OK, because that's going to be relevant for WooCommerce. But we do have categories here. If you are using, if you've got a, like a custom field with a category taxonomy system, again, this is going to work for you really, really well. You can, if you want, define your parent term. You can include or exclude terms. So maybe you want to say, let's make sure that anything that is currently uncategorized, we've actually got two over there. Do I want to include them or not? Also decide on what kind of Boolean you're going to have and or. I mean, I think the or is actually quite a good one sometimes. You know, maybe someone wants to go for red and blue t-shirts because they want to get a range or can they only pick blue t-shirts? Great thing is that if you're a little bit unsure, you can click it and it does give you a bit of a tool tip there if you get a bit stuck. To be honest, the bulk of a lot of the facets that you're going to build you're probably going to want to keep them really simple. And it's always a good option to kind of show everything that is available for them to pick. In fact, I'm just going to go back and say, I am going to get rid of choice count. Sometimes I don't always like to see that. And I will actually get rid of empty choices as well. Now, I've got a page here with two columns or two containers. In container number two, we have a loop grid that is showing the posts. Over in container one, I'm going to go over to my widget selector and I'm going to type in asset and there we go. And I'm going to drop that in now. Now, here's how simple and easy it is once you've added in that elemental add on. I'm going to go in and I'm going to select my facet, which is the blog category. That's what's really cool about the naming. And then I'm going to decide and well, what does that touch? So let's just pretend you had two or three loop grids on here. This at the minute is only showing me that 97 AF 815, whatever. And, and that's because that's the only one present. But if you had two or three on here and you got a bit stuck with, well, which one do I want to hit? Just click on your uh, loop grid, go over to the left hand side where it says WP Grid Builder and now give you the ID for it. So again, it is really simple and easy to do. Now, I did not hide the uncategorized and that item is now visible. Let me just show you how cool. By the way, though, before I show you in preview, you can go over to style and you can do the typographies for the title, the header, the items. You can even do the check uh, the boxes as well. So if you want to make them bigger or smaller, you have so much control here. If I now hit squadron, it changes it. If I go and hit web, it will bring them all back. I can, you know, I can define what I want, but this is so slick and easy. And what if I don't want check boxes, but I want to have actual buttons because that style does work really well with posts. Well, let's go and pick button. 
Make sure everything below is still okay. Yes, it is. Let's then hit save changes. And after refreshing the page, this is what I get. I now have buttons and I have the all as well. So you could position that to be wherever you want. I've put it on the left hand side in a container. It could be on the right, it could be above, below. What about products? Again, really, really simple. Make sure you've gone and given them a category. So I've got three over here. I've got course and I've gone and given it a subcategory of online as well. I mean, categories is all fine and well, but when it comes to WooCommerce, if you've got attributes like brand, color, weight, style, and anything like that, you want to add filtering options for that as well. So if I go into one of these products, uh, these are all simple products, by the way. I've gone and given them an attribute of brand and color. So here's the brand one and I've got the option for web in here, and I've also got color as well. By the way, when it comes to creating brands, you really wanna be doing them over here where we have attributes. So if I just go in here, here's where I create them. And then inside of the attributes, we have the option for Pepsi or web, and for color, we have gray, purple, and red. This is where you wanna do it. Create your, create your attributes here, and then when you go into each individual product, the field will be there, and all you've gotta do now is pick the option that's relevant. Back in facets, we're actually gonna create three, one for categories, one for the brand, and one for the color. And by the way, you can do more if you want. You can do like a price slider as well. So let's go and create a facet, call it shop category and paste over here as well. We will then just hit save changes. You don't have to, you can go straight over to behavior and then do it, but I quite like to do it this way. I'm gonna go for buttons on this one. I'm gonna scroll down and I am now gonna pick product categories. If you pick categories, that's gonna be for your post, okay? So make sure you pick product categories. We're gonna leave everything in and I'm actually gonna go for an all. So you can pick and choose what you want. Let's hit the save changes on that. Go back to facets and let's add in a new one, brand. And we'll just paste that down there. We'll go over to uh, behavior. I'm gonna leave this one as a checkbox, leave it as a filter. Now, when we get down here to what are we using, by the way, you do have other options. I should have mentioned this. You do have WordPress field. You do have custom field as well, but we're keeping it pretty simple with just our taxonomy fields. We then click down here. Now, the moment you create an attribute, it will automatically put the word product before it. So if I have sizes, it would have said product sizes. So I'm gonna go for product brand, and we're just gonna hit save changes for that. And the final one, which I'm pretty sure you're getting the idea now, we're gonna call it color. We're gonna go to behavior. We're gonna leave it as a filter, but I'm now gonna pick the color picker. Now this, is quite amazing what it does, because you're probably gonna think, well, do you now have to go and start defining the colors for each of them? Do I need to go back into the attributes? You could do, but stay with me on this. All I've done is pick filter and color picker. I'm then gonna make sure that I go for the brand, not the brand, sorry, the product color like that. So we have three new facets now for the products. For simplicity on this page, I've got my products loop grid. So this again is a loop grid that is now looking at the products, not the posts. And all I'm showing you is the terms or the categories below. I'm not showing you the price or buy now button. I'm just keeping it simple. Let's again go over here and go and get in the facet. And we're gonna drag that in and duplicate that three times. The very first one, we are going to pick the shop category and it will be pointing to this loop grid. Again, if you're unsure, click on it. You'll have the WP Grid Builder in the bottom left and you can see what the ID is for that. Again, look, we've got buttons and you can see what it's doing there. We're then gonna go over here and this time we're gonna pick the brand and again, pick this item and you'll now see it chug away and there we go, Pepsi or web. Um, is that, yeah, that's what I had. And if we now go to the next one, I'm now gonna pick color. Now remember, I did not assign the colors. All I said was give me a color picker. Look at this. And if you don't believe me, look at this one. It just has the word red. There is no hex code added. If I now go and pick online. It's gonna filter there. If I go for drink, it will go to that one. If I go for course, it will go to that one. Okay, if I decide, oh, I want Pepsi, it should show me those two. And okay, well, what about if we go for the gray one? Ah, it only shows me the gray one. So on the mobile, I've added another container down here. I'm gonna pick this particular facet up and I'm gonna drop it into this extra container. So you can make whatever personalized approach you want. I mean, I wouldn't go for that because it's gonna look ridiculous on the desktop, but you could modify it to work for the mobile in terms of how you wanna present it. You got loads of filters. Having the colors down the side might work better for you or not. Remember, if you're using Elementor, you need the Elementor add-ons. Uh, Grid Builder WP, I think is an amazing, amazing plugin for loop grids. It works 
amazingly well. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.